Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Christmas kitchen, clean and decorate. We're gonna be adding lots of pops of red to the kitchen today. We're gonna add a Christmas tree. We're gonna do a hot cocoa slash coffee bar back here. So lots of Christmassy, cozy inspiration. If that's what you're in need of today, you're in the right place. If you are not already subscribed and you love all things homemaking and decorating and cleaning, definitely hit that red subscribe button below. I would love to have you. And then also, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That always really helps me out. But let's go ahead and get started. What's up y'all and welcome back or welcome if you're new. I'm going to start out in here today by pulling all of the existing decor off of the counters and wiping them down with the Mrs. Myers and the Pine scent. I always like to take everything out of a space before I decorate so that I can visualize it a little bit better and how I want it to look, especially when it's a smaller space like this. And I do have plans to put in some white subway tile backsplash, but that will probably happen in the new year. So for now, we're just going to work with what we have and make this kitchen super cozy for Christmas. And I knew that I wanted a coffee slash hot cocoa bar in here. So I've had my eyes peeled for a little table or a bar cart, something to set behind our kitchen table so that I could just deck it out. But unfortunately, I looked high and low. I couldn't find anything that I really loved. So I've still got my eyes peeled for that. But we're going to go ahead and proceed with the hot cocoa bar idea. But I'm just going to make it on our countertop here. Before I started in here today, I actually cleaned the kitchen, I did the dishes and all of that jazz, but I did notice that these bottom cabinets did start to look a little bit bad, so I went ahead and got my Mrs. Myers Pine Spray and just sprayed those all down and wiped them down really well, got all of the slops up, and then we're going to move on with that coffee bar. So I knew that for this little coffee area I wanted to get the Holiday Blend Starbucks coffee and while I was there picking that up I actually realized that the Donut Shop brand coffee has a Holiday Blend this year and I really want to try that too. I love the Donut Shop coffee but their blend actually had a turquoise little cover and these are red and I just love the pops of red at Christmas time so I'll try that one next time but for now we're going to stick with this. And I got this little pedestal from Hobby Lobby. I love it. I think it's so cute in this area. You're going to see me rearrange this area several times to get it how I like it. I ended up taking down those pods because it was too tall. And I just set it beside the pedestal. So I'm going to move that around several times throughout this video. But I knew for our little hot chocolate bar that I wanted sprinkles and whipped cream and hot chocolate and coffee. Whole nine yards. So whatever you don't see here is either going to be located in the cabinet right above this area or in the fridge, which is right to the left of this area. So mostly what you're going to see is the coffee and the sprinkles and the candies. But let's go ahead and get that taken care of. By the way, I found those white chocolate peppermint stir sticks at Target and they add so much flavor to your hot chocolate. And now I'm just going over here to this little cookie jar and I'm going to stock it full of these Christmas tree Debbie cakes. These are so delicious. And while I was stocking it, I realized that we were almost out. So I had to call Will and tell him to bring some more home. And now I'm just going to add a few candy canes over here in our hot cocoa station. I'm going to rearrange that again later on in the video. But I'm going to stop real quick and pop over to this little spot above our microwave. I knew I wanted to add a little Christmas wreath there and I think that looks so cute. And next year I may end up adding a wreath on every single cabinet because I love the way that that looks. And now I'm just going to add a few pops of red over here in my little spoon jar. I found those cute little rubber scrapers at TJ Maxx. And I also found a really cute little red Dutch oven at TJ Maxx that I may go snag up because I really wish I would have the day that I saw it and I didn't. And I'm going to go ahead and light this really cozy Christmas candle over here in the corner. I always love apple cinnamon scents at Christmas time. So that's what we're going to do here. And then we're going to pop on over to the other side of the kitchen. I found these little frosted trees or what do you call them, flocked trees at Target. They were just five bucks for the little one and 10 bucks for the big one. And I think they make such a pretty little statement right here by the sink. Come together and make memories that stay 
Now that I've got the countertops kind of how I like them and the candles are burning, I wanted to pop back over here to our little coffee station and rearrange it a little bit. Those pods were too high on that pedestal, so I went ahead and brought them down. And I loved the way that this ended up turning out. I will link everything that I have here and down in the description box below in case you want to check it out. But I actually found those little sprinkles in that little glass cork bottle at TJ Maxx and they had so many different kinds of sprinkles. So definitely go check out TJ Maxx if you need some Christmas sprinkles. But I will have all of the rest of that stuff linked down below in my description box. As I've told y'all before, I kind of like to break up my jobs in segments. So now that I have all of the countertops done, I'm just going to clean up the floors in this half of the kitchen. I'm just using my Dyson to vacuum them up and then I'm using my infuse mop to kind of just give the floors a light mopping and then we'll move on to the other side of the kitchen. But I also wanted to show y'all the new rug that I picked up for this area. I found it at At Home and I'm obsessed with the way that it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean off this table over here and then I'll show y'all that rug. So I found this little gray and white rug at, at home, I think I already told y'all that, but I think it adds so much character to the kitchen. I love the way that it looks in here. But now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and move over to this little corner by the kitchen table. I'm going to add a new Christmas tree over here, and I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on a, another Christmas tree, so I just went to Walmart and picked up this little six foot, or it might be six and a half foot and it's not flocked or anything, and it was just 40 bucks. So we're gonna pop that up over here. I'm not gonna put any decorations or anything on it. I just think it's pretty to add the extra glow in here. And then we're gonna decorate that table. For next year, I'm hoping to have a, some sort of a table here or a big hutch and I can decorate that for Christmas and then I'm going to put this tree in one of the front bedrooms in one of the offices and put some frosty trees in here. I'm hoping to get some big flocked trees and some little flocked trees and just make it a little bit of a winter wonderland in here. So I'm making big plans for next year as I go, but I'm just happy to have our little new house all decorated for Christmas. It feels so cozy and I'm loving all of the warm lights and pops of red, like I've said a million times before, it makes me so happy. I knew when we bought this house that I wanted to put some garland in this chandelier at Christmas time. So I just went ahead and picked this garland up from Michael's. I think it was like 10 or 12 bucks and I'm just kind of weaving it in and out.
So I went back and forth with what I wanted to do with this tablescape for Christmas. So I decided on just sticking with something simple since it's just us two. I picked up these cute little plaid napkins from TJ Maxx and they actually have a little bit of a glitter strand in them. They're really pretty. And then I also found these cute little metal houses at TJ Maxx. They were $4.99 each. And I'm just gonna get that little rope off the top and then use them as a little centerpiece for the plates. And then there in the middle, I'm gonna light a candle and I'm also gonna add some red pillows to these chairs. To celebrate Christmas with me But he's not here And I'm not there I don't know what he want now I found these pillows at TJ Maxx and they actually have a little picture of a Christmas tree on the other side. It's like a lace Christmas tree. They're really pretty, but I kind of felt like they just looked a little bit better on the plain side. They do have that fun little tassel detail on the side. And now I'm just gonna take my Dyson and sweep everything up in here. And then I wanna show y'all a fun Christmas recipe that is perfect for munching on when you're watching Christmas movies. So I'm gonna show you that here in a second. It's something you've probably made before, but it's got a fun Christmas twist. And then there at the end, I'll show you the end product of the whole kitchen. I don't know what he wants now, and I don't know why he said all the things he said to me. He means nothing to me now. So the snack that I wanted to show y'all today is actually called reindeer chow. And all it is is Muddy Buddies. When I was a kid, we called them Muddy Buddies. It's rice checks mixed with chocolate and peanut butter and vanilla extract. And then you douse it in powdered sugar and you can add whatever you want. Today, we're gonna add some Christmas M&Ms and some Christmas sprinkles. I've also seen people add pretzels and Reese's cups. So you can add as much stuff to it as you want or you can just leave it plain. And either way, it's delicious. And I'm gonna leave that recipe linked below. To mix this all up, you can just put the powdered sugar in a Ziploc baggie, a large one, and then just shake it up. But I was all out of the large Ziploc baggies, so I just decided to throw it in this little bowl and close it up and shake it around and get that powdered sugar well distributed. And then after that, I'm gonna pour it into a different serving bowl and add all of the extra stuff like the M&Ms and the sprinkles. Let me know down in the comments below if you grew up on Muddy Buddies too. This was always something that my mom made when we would have movie nights or have friends over, and I absolutely Absolutely love it. You would think with all of the chocolate and peanut butter that this would just be a mess, but once you douse it in that powdered sugar, it kind of packs everything together and it's not too bad. And we took that big old bowl and we watched Christmas with the Cranks on this night and it was so cozy and fun. So if you've never tried this stuff, definitely give it a try, you'll love it. And now I just wanted to show a few clips of how our kitchen ended up turning out. I think it looks and feels so cozy for Christmas time and I cannot wait to enjoy this space for the next month and a half. Thank y'all so much for watching today. I still have more Christmas content coming, so make sure you're subscribed if you're not already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see y'all all in next week's video. Bye. I feel that it's Christmas time again. Missing all these little things that we used to do. Everything was so much better.